Phil, where have you been all these years? Why have you been living in the heart of the Guatemalan jungle? Well, in 2014, following a near fatal return from Ogama Quadrant 0524 via Black Hole 742G, in which several integral portions of my neural and muscle memory were removed due to a combination of the paradoxal shift and time space continuum laws concerning human black hole travel. I found myself in Northern Ontario nearly a decade before my initial departure with nothing but a towel in my life. I spent nearly four straight months scrunching for food and any recollection of the majority of my recent past. There's several uh, natural things in the in the earth that you can just pluck and eat, like uh, the jamandi, uh, uh, the kali, uh, and uh, the giblets. Giblets are really tasty. You just feel them like this. But there's not much for protein. Uh, so you got to build a trap. You got to build a trap or two. I spoke uh, infrequently, and when I did, it was mostly to cats who never responded verbally, even though I fully expected them to each time. It wasn't until I grew comfortable with this vague existence that portions of memory slowly began to return. Sometimes I would endure several straight hours of neural agony as these memories forced their way in. I did not leave uh, uh, Canada. I hid in the boreal coniferous forests of western Alberta and survived. Ow. Ow. I survived Ow. mostly off the land for two years. I think we got something here. I'm really hungry. Yes! Yes! I ate very little. I bathed in freezing cold rivers. I uh, slept in elk shit. Spent the majority of my time collecting firewood and documenting my memories of talking cats and space travel. There were times of near starvation. The traps I had set up caught very little. I think we got something else. But uh, what they did always brought out yes! an exhausting amount of appreciation. Yes! Uh, fires were exhausting uh, and very tough to maintain. Uh, the, the starting the fires themselves was often use, a useless effort. Uh, I rubbed for hours. Sometimes it, it felt like days. I'm pretty sure there was one time where I saw the sun rise and set. <laughs> Fuck! Anyway, it was a cold. It was a cold Tuesday when I recalled my musical passions uh, as I worked. My shrunken testicles from within my body, I recalled my entire body of work. Uh, the following Tuesday, I booked a show uh, at the first town I came across, and it ended up being Jasper, Alberta. It was a really hard time. Is there any truth to the story I heard that you heckled a man off stage and that's the reason that you're performing at the whistle stop? So um, I get there and like, you know, Phil and Jeremy are like, you know, getting after it decently. Well, Phil was after it decently. Jeremy was actually kind of fine. And then um, there's this band on stage. It was uh, Small Town Revival was the name of it. Basically, they were garbage. And... Uh, so Phil starts getting on him about how much they suck at, you know, playing music. And, like, you know, he wasn't wrong. Like, they, they did. They sucked. Anyway, so he's heckling him a little bit. And you can tell, like, 
I don't know. The lead singer was like, you know, he was kind of getting his panties in a bunch about the whole thing, right? Like he'd never heard a jerk before. And um, anyways, the guys decide they're going to take a break. And, you know, so so we're all had a, having a chin wag there about, like, you know, how brutal they are. And then this one guy comes over who was, like, dancing to all the tunes. And he was like, yo, man, like, why are you guys, like, you know, not feeling this band? And, like, you know, they're talented and all this stuff. And I don't know. I don't really know what happened after that because all of a sudden the guy's buying Phil shots at Patron at, like, 20 bucks a pop, right? And so it's, like, all of a sudden, they're buddies, so it's, like, okay. In the meantime, the, the bartender had put on, like, some regular, you know, Sirius XM or something, which we were, like, digging as, like, a nice, like, relief from, like, the terrible music that was happening. And then so when the band comes, the lead singer guy comes walking back in, we're all kind of like, ah, oh, you know, God, like, here he comes, right? And then so he starts, like, getting ready to play, and Phil says something along the lines of like, you know, you know, I, I can't remember exactly. Kind of like you're garbage or whatever. And um, the guy's like, you know, fine. Like, we, we're we not going to play that. Like, fine. And Phil's like, good. So the guy after that, the guy was like, that's it. And he starts unplugging all this shit. And like the other guys that were playing with him didn't even come back. Like, they're just like, whatever. And then so the bartender comes over and he's all like, you know, hey, Phil, like, you got to get out of here. You know, like, you're making it so that this guy doesn't want to play anymore. And like... You know, I was like, can I get kicked out too? Because this guy's terrible, right? And then he comes over and, like, he's like, you're a jerk to Phil. And Phil's like, whatever, man. Like, if you guys can't take a chirp, like, you shouldn't have came out of your mom's basement. Or, like, something along those lines. And that was it for him. He was he was done. Like, that, he'd taken enough abuse. So he's gone. And then the bartenders are still trying to get Phil to leave, right? But now Phil feels bad because he's like, you know kind of like ruined it for everyone like he's sort of like i don't know i don't know if it's like ruined it's the right word because like no one was really enjoying it anyway but i mean he you know what i mean like it's over now because of phil right is the point and so he's like i'll tell you what and remember this is like after like several beers patrons i don't know what else was in there right he's like i'll tell you what man he's like to make up for it i'm gonna give you guys one free show compliments of phil murphy on the house, just tell me when and where, you know, and the guys are like, get the fuck out of here, right? Sorry, and then we leave, and then, uh, as we're leaving, like, we're, like, outside leaving, and Phil's, like, to me and Jeremy, Phil's like, I'm serious, man, like, I'm dead serious, I'm gonna give him a free show, and so we're like, okay, like, we'll hold you to it, and then, uh, anyway, so, yeah, that's pretty much what happened, um, everybody in Jasper will now get treated to a Phil Murphy show because they were you know, mistreated to a small town revival show. Can we expect any surprises, any special guests at this show? There is a one for sure guest. So Phil, the final question I have for you, it's the one that's burning on the tip of everyone's tongue. The one thing that we absolutely have to know out of this performance is Will you take a bite of this onion? I miss the smell of a lake at four in the morning In the taste of coming rain on the tip of my tongue Fireflies on the water A fish that cigarettes Kill the mess in the trees You know the more you grow You change I miss the way that you say Everything will be okay The sky is blue Suddenly
Sunshine burning off the tips of my shoulders And the sound of guitar coming out of the trees I see the things of the fire 